A few moments later. And as well, welcome the SRCC MSTHS non teaching staff.
pagigat pateros Damal nitong bayan Lamang pinataglay Karangalang tunay Lagino at lakas Nitong mamamayan Ang tanging layunin Manguna
Grant OIC Principal Areza, to our highly competent and deeply motivated faculty members and staff, to the proud and loving parents, dear students, visitors, guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. Welcome to the 18th recognition ceremony of Senator Renato Compañero Cayetano, Memorial Science and Technology High School with the theme, Traversing Milestone of Excellence, A Journey of Success. A year of gaining knowledge and learning new things. A year worth of friendships, challenges, and opportunities. We are all here gathered today to celebrate those achievements, the epitome of our success. The trials and hardships that our students had triumphed is really worth celebrating since another chapter of their academic lives has come to a close. Today signifies the culmination in another year of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge that will enable our students to embrace opportunities and take on challenges life may bring with courage, confidence, and wisdom. This would not be possible without the guidance and support of the parents, the hard work and patience of our teachers, and the persistence and determination that lies within the students' hearts. And with that, please give yourselves a round of applause. You all deserve it. Today marks another milestone in our life and in the history of our school Senator Renato Compañero Cayetano Memorial Science and Technology High School as we gather and celebrate success and today's recognition rights. So without further ado, may I call on our OIC principal, Mr. Queen Norman O. Areza, for his opening remarks. Let's give him a round of applause. We are delighted to have you with us to participate and share in this special occasion. Honorable Marie F. Marceleno, Barangay Chairman of Azusan, uh, Public School District Supervisor, Dr. Saif Abisado Jr., our guest speaker, Maria Nathalie S. De La Rosa, who will be formally introduced later, department heads, master teachers, subject coordinators, junior and senior high school teachers, parents, and fellow public servants, God's afternoon. This year is the 18th annual recognition day for Senator Renato Compañero Caetano, Memorial Science and Technology High School, with a the theme, Traversing Milestone of Excellence, a Journey of Success. According to the scripture, the key to success is to put God's First, striving for higher achievement levels is a respectable ideal, but it is limited ideal and even maybe a risky one. Striving for higher achievement levels is a limited ideal because realizing learning achievements is only the exterior of what education is for and what schools do. Education is not just about knowing a lot but also about being able to do something with that knowledge and skills and feeling responsible for that. The schools think these are important educational goals. The development of talent 
is more than just producing good grades. It is also the development of self-confidence, creativity, perseverance, independence, and curiosity. The emphasis on excellence in terms of high achievements means that children are considered in the perspective of the marks they achieve and look at themselves in the same way. Good students, brilliant scientists, and clever administrators in the making deserve to be nurtured. And it's important that students with this ability have the opportunity to develop it to the full. But these students should also be made aware that it's not only educational achievements that make you excellent. It is above all what you do with that achievement. Knowledge and skills must not only be a means for students to achieve high marks, but also to orient them in the world, to understand it and want to function in it. Engaging youngsters with society is a task of schools along with developing talents. Therefore, excellence in education is a question of talent and engagement. For the awardees on today's Recognition Day, you have shown courage and resilience throughout the pandemic years of your studies. As you recall your labors and rejoice your achievements, always remember that your teachers, parents, families, fellow learners, school officials, and personnel, education partners, and government leaders are always with you in every step of the way. Let them serve as your inspiration to dream and strive not only for your own success, but more so for our country's progress. Our awardees would not have achieved this far without the family that provides sustained and stable resources for the lifelong development of children and adolescents, and is a major factor affecting their outcomes. Many studies have indicated that parental factors play an important role in the academic achievement life satisfaction, and emotional function of children. Awardees, can we have a big round of applause to your parents who are with us today? Thank you, parents. Also, we would like to express our heartfelt, heartfelt gratitude to the following persons who continuously support to promote quality, equitable, and inclusive education to all Tagigenius. Senator Pia S. Caetano, Senator Alan Peter S. Caetano, Honorable Maria Laarni Lani L. Caetano, Honorable Arvin Ian B. Alit, and of course our District 1 Councilors, and Honorable Marie F. Marcelino, Barangay Susan Chairperson, and of course the Barangay Susan Councils. Finally, I was reminded of Secretary Briones important point in her message several years ago, saying that make your county proud of you and your accomplishments. Your mentors are confident that you will continue living up to become citizens of character and lofty ideals and whose critical thinking and competency will take the county to path of global competitiveness and recognition. Congratulations and good afternoon everyone. Thank you Sir Areza for that warm message. So from our OAC principal's message one eternity later. This time we're going to ask the students how they feel uh, receiving the token. Uh, how do you feel receiving the token from uh, Brad? Can uh, you the token please? Yeah. Thank you too. Uh, thank you for the officials for their generosity. Thank you. Uh, the proud mommy. Yes, yeah, and how do you feel? Uh, how do you feel uh, Again, receiving the token of your the uh, academic performance? The uh, so very, that is actually very a surprise awarding ceremony. Thank you very so much. Thank you very 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 much. And we would like also on to extend right, uh, the so thanks and uh, the generosity of Parangay Oso Friend, edited by Mama Sir Ninoy. For today's event, may we call on our. Thousand years later. As an accomplished and passionate educator with extensive experience in education, she has dedicated seven years to teaching at the British School Manila. Now, as a full time UK qualified primary school teacher, 